folks. Welcome to a contrarian analysis of Ocean Power Technologies Incorporated, stock symbol OPTT. This is a micro cap stock, and the topics we're going to discuss today with regard to OPTT are going to be the company profile, fundamentals, news driving the stock price, insiders and what they are doing or what they are not doing, performance, TTM, which is 12-month moving average, as well as the year-to-date average. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to segue over and into doing some technical analysis of the charts, both long-term and short-term, using TrendSpider and their automated technology platform. We'll also discuss analyst ratings, seasonality, as well as catalysts, which could drive the stock price higher or lower. And that will include events and my technical analysis, both long and short term. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to give you my opinion of whether or not Ocean Power Technologies Incorporated is a buy, sell, or hold on both a long and a short term time frame. Before we begin with our analysis of Ocean Power Technologies, I'm going to ask you to please smash that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. It really helps support the channel. I would encourage you to leave a comment. I will definitely get back to you. Subscribe to the channel and certainly share with a friend on social media. And I would encourage you to please join our live streams on Sunday evenings as well as Thursday evenings, where on Sundays we discuss the futures action 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time each Sunday evening. We'll watch and see how the futures are opening because that is truly the beginning of the new trading week. Then on Thursdays, we do a Thursday night stock charts live where we review the weekly charts and how we're poised to close out the week. And of course, on both live streams on YouTube, we do take stock chart requests and we'll review the symbols that you're interested in. So now let's begin our analysis of Ocean Power Technologies Incorporated, symbol OPTT. Ocean Power Technologies Incorporated is not a new company. It's been around since 1984. It's a United States-based company out of New Jersey. In my research, I've found it as listed in both the electrical component sector as well as the alternative energy sector. I believe it's more appropriate to be in the alternative energy sector. And I'm going to tell you why later on in the video that I believe that it's the alternative energy aspect of this company that will help drive future performance. But there will be a caveat coming up soon that could influence the share price. So stick around to the end of the video. Now, being an alternative energy play, Ocean Power Technologies develops and commercializes proprietary systems that generate electricity by harnessing the renewable energy of ocean waves in North and South America, Europe, and Asia. It's a global company. Now, the reason why I believe it to be in the electrical component arena is because alternative energy is only one segment of their business. They're also in communications. The fundamentals of the company are not wonderful. It is losing money. There is a cash burn factor. We'll talk about recent news in a moment that's helped mitigate that concern quite a bit. Their revenues year over year have improved considerably. However, they have not been able yet to turn a profit. It does not pay a dividend, but its balance sheet is fairly strong. It has over $11 million worth of cash versus debt of $2.14 million. As for recent news in the company, on October the 7th of this year, MarketWatch reported that there was a 34% increase in the share price. And the interesting part about this is that there was no news out of the company. And just prior to that, the stock had soared 66.4% on big volume the Tuesday prior. And before that, you had a 24.8% increase on the prior Monday. So with no news coming out of the company, and volume rolling in very strong. This leads me to conclude that you have a lot of institutional demand for the shares, which is always a bullish sign for the share price moving forward. Now, what really got the shares kicked off in terms of breaking out back in September was an agreement that was re reached between Ocean Power Technologies with 
Aspire Capital Group, where Aspire had agreed to purchase up to $12.5 million worth of common stock over the next 30 months. Now, I'll link to this article below because there is a lot of data with regards to the nuances of the agreement. I think you should take a moment to read through it because it's a very, very good article and the terms are very favorable to Ocean Power Technologies. Now, the encouraging part about Aspire buying the common shares of Ocean Power Technologies is that it may help reduce the volatility somewhat on these shares as it is an extremely volatile stock, as you would expect with a micro cap. Insider transactions over the past six months have been nil, no sales, no purchases. The total insider shares held at 28,000, 650,000 shares is pretty negligible relative to the size of the shares outstanding and of the float. Now, taking a look at the insider roster, you can see that one of the directors, David Keller, has the largest position in the company out of the insiders. Second is David Hines with 122,000 shares. Third in line is the chief executive officer, George Kirby, at 112,000 shares. And what I find a bit concerning here is that you have two CFOs which have positions considerably lower than the overall moving average for all of the insiders noted here. So to me, taking a look at this, having the CEO not at the top of the list and the CFOs literally at the bottom of the list, that's a yellow flag on the track for me. As we look at performance, we're going to look at ocean power technology on two different levels. One, we're going to compare the performance of the share price relative to the industry average. And for this instance, we're going to use the electrical equipment industry average and the total annualized return as of September the 18th for OPTT was 28.88% versus the industry average of 67.59%. That has changed dramatically in favor of OPTT since the 18th of September, which is when we saw the news get announced that Aspire Capital Fund reached an agreement with management to purchase up to 12.5 million shares. That was the catalyst to send the shares up higher. We'll take a look at the chart and how the shares reacted in a few moments. Now, when we look at the share price relative to the renewable energy sector, which I think is more important to ocean power technologies than being measured as a broader-based electrical equipment sector, the performance year-to-date is up 193.10% relative to the performance of the share price versus the Dow Jones U.S. Alternative Energy Stock Market Index, which has a year-to-date return of 107.61%. So a dramatic outperformance versus the Alternative Energy Total Stock Market Index. Very, very impressive. Now, you might be saying that Ocean Power Technologies had a very rough beginning of the year. But, but to be fair, the Dow Jones Alternative Energy Total Stock Market Index had a very rough beginning of the year as well. So we're talking apples to apples here. Now, moving on to the technical analysis of Ocean Power Technology. Uh, the shares peaked out in Q1 of 2008. And ever since that point in time, they've been in a bear market. But I think that what we're seeing here is a setup for a stock longer term that may just be poised to consolidate and then begin to break out on a longer term basis. So let's talk about what we are seeing and what we need to see for us to get optimistic and get bullish about the share price. And then I'll leave you with my thoughts as to whether or not I believe that at current is OPTT a buy, sell, or hold. Now to perform our technical analysis of Ocean Power Technologies will be using TrendSpider, which is an automated technical analysis platform. In short, it uses algorithms as well as automated trend lines and a whole bunch of other functionality such as seasonality, analyst opinion, etc., volume weighted moving average to perform our analysis of OPTT. We'll also be using multi time frame analysis, which is built into TrendSpider where we review the monthly charts, weekly charts, daily charts to identify 
where the share price has been to determine where it might be going both short term and longer term. Now there's a link down below in the video description area, 35% off if you're interested in TrendSpider. I strongly encourage it. I call it my spell check for technical analysis because as long as I've been doing this, from time to time, TrendSpider picks up something that I may have missed. 35% discount code below. Take advantage of it, the lowest price on the web. If you're not using TrendSpider, you're missing out on an arrow in your quiver because other competitors out there are using the same type of software. So if you want an edge over your competition, make sure that you're leveraging the power of technology so that you have an edge over other traders. Let's get to it. We're going to begin here with a monthly chart of OPTT because the way I like to conduct technical analysis is from a very high level view to begin with. I want to know where the shares have been to identify where they might be going. And the story here is very nice. The shares bottomed out back here in January of 16. You may be saying, you know, Bob, we made lower lows since that point in time. Technically, they bottomed out back here. You, all you've seen is some backing and filling since January of 2016. And when you throw up the automated trend lines here, click of a button, you could see that we broke out on a monthly basis here in May of 2020. Ever since that point in time, we've been drifting up higher. And as you'll note, the Bollinger Bands, here's the upper band of your Bollinger Band for those who are not familiar, the lower band, you're seeing an ever-tightening bottleneck. This is setting up for a potential Bollinger Band squeeze. And in a moment, we're going to talk about catalysts, which may help sh drive the share price higher. So stick around until the end. So our share price has broken out. We have broken out ever since May of this year. Our momentum indicators are gaining steam. Our stochastics are now putting in higher highs. The relative strength index, or RSI, is putting in higher highs and breaking out on a monthly basis. This is very powerful stuff. So we're in the very early stages of a breakout here on OPTT, weekly chart. Now, on a weekly basis, we had a burst up higher last week. We were up nearly 143% on the week. We did close out the week above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band, which is a higher level of Bollinger Band that I use relative to an out-of-the-box Bollinger Band. In short, folks, I'll save you the technical jargon. We're not supposed to be here. And you could see that Trend Spider picked up on an upper band of resistance last week as well. Where did we close last week? Right at the upper band of resistance. This is why you need to have automated technical analysis at your fingertips. The stochastics on a weekly basis, higher lows. Good stuff. RSI, even a better story in that we are putting in higher lows. Now we're even putting in higher highs. This is what a strong stock looks like. You're seeing strong price action, and it's being validated by your indicators. Daily chart. Now, on a daily basis, we saw an explosive move higher last week, which automatically gives me pause. And what I want to point out is that early I mentioned on the weekly chart that we were uh, trading above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. On a daily basis, you could see what the outcome was. Right? We closed above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band on the 6th, Rallied higher on the 7th, but it didn't end well, right? We corrected hard. Now, to be fair, on Friday, an outside reversal day, or you could call it a bullish engulfing day. The only negative I have to say here about the price action on Friday was that we closed off the highs of the day, which is okay. We're talking about an early stage breakout of a long-term consolidation. You're going to see backing and filling. Now, where might I be interested in entering the position? Let's use the automated trend lines. Click of a button. Where I would be interested is on a retracement back down to $1.69. So what I'll do here is I'll set an alert. Now, if I buy, it's going to be very small because I like to open up small positions initially to see whether or not I am accurate in my call. If I am correct, then I like to build on strength. So we'll set an alert. 
And here's our alert. I want to get notified within 10 minutes of us testing this support level in green. It's a potential long entry trade. I'm going to keep this active for the next five trading days. We'll create that alert and we're good to go. When else might I be interested in either A, opening a position or adding to an existing position? I'll do this. As you can see, right now we're inside of a ever-tightening wedge formation. And what I would be interested in is a breakout above where we were stopped on both Thursday and Friday of last week. And I want to see us close above this resistance level. So this alert here is going to tell me when we break out, I only care about if we are poised to close above, let's call it $2.56. If the shares are successful in being able to close above that mark, well then we'll either A, add to our existing position, assuming that our first alert fired off, or if it did not, we'll open up a small opening position on a close above $2.56. We'll keep this active for the next five business days. Our alerts are set. At this point in time, we let the computer do the work for us. Trend Spider will do the work for us. We set it and forget it. What we do here at The Contrarian Trader is we follow a rules-based approach. Either it pulls back to a support level or it breaks out. At some point in time, those alerts will fire off and we'll make a determination based upon overall market conditions of as to whether or not we want to enter the trade. Other factors that are going to come into play here are seasonality. What is seasonality, folks? For those who are not familiar, we have data going back to April of 2007, which will tell us how the shares perform this time of year. Now, looking at the seasonality going back 14 years on a monthly basis, you could see that, by and large, with the exception of September, the shares have closed up less than 50% of the time over that 14-year time frame. Let's keep something in mind, though, to be fair. Remember that these shares have been in a bear market, a, a very serious bear market for over 10 of those years. So while seasonality is important, we don't want to trade solely off of seasonality. It's only an arrow in our quiver, a bit of information that can help support our decision of how big we want to get in a trade. You can have a bullish looking stock price. And if historically the shares are down on any given month that you're in, that doesn't mean you should avoid opening the trade. It just means that perhaps you want to be smaller in your position. That way you're managing your risk. Now, while TrendSpider generally has a robust list of analyst coverage in this sidebar widget here, I did happen to find one analyst that was following it. And this data is provided by Fidelity Investments. And if you'd like to view this report in great detail, I'll link to it on my website. I'll list the link below where you can view it at your leisure. But I'm going to scroll down. I'm not going to spend too much time here. We do have one company with data provided by Reventi Versus with a sell opinion as of October the 5th with an equity summary score. There's only one firm of very bearish issued on 10.9 by first call. So with this data in mind, let's talk about where I believe the share price is going longer term and what catalyst will help drive the shares either higher or lower. Now to arrive at both my short term and longer term opinion on Ocean Power Technologies, I'm going to use weekly charts and then a daily chart to walk you through my thought process. Now, in terms of catalysts, there is very little short interest in ocean power technology. So as a short-term catalyst to send the share price higher, it's non-existent. Another concern is that you have very few analysts currently covering the stock. So we don't know when a new analyst begins to cover the share price, will he come out with a buy, sell, or hold rating or an equivalent of whatever the company uses. In terms of their verbiage, if they come out with a hold, that means a sell. So that's a concern. Now, you might be saying, you know, he must be concerned about 
that one sell recommendation by the analysts on OPTT. No, it doesn't bother me in the least because the worst that they could do is reiterate their sell rating, which nobody's really going to care about. And the best that they could do is go from a sell to a buy. So what does that mean? We mean it means that we could have some positive headline news if the current analyst goes from a sell to a buy, but the negative is that we have potential adverse headline risk or positive risk. We don't know if a new analyst begins their coverage. But the analysts are the least of my concerns. What is most optimistic from a longer term perspective with regards to OPTT is this. Let's go to a monthly chart. We'll come back to the weekly chart. Keep in mind what the share price is doing on a monthly basis. It is breaking out. And what I always teach members is this, is that the longer the consolidation, keep in mind, this is a multi-year consolidation on a monthly basis. The longer the consolidation, the greater the validation of any breakout. So on a long-term view, monthly view, I'm bullish on the share price, not overly aggressive, but bullish on the share price. On a shorter term time frame, I become a little bit more pessimistic for two reasons. One, technical. Two, the election. We'll talk about both now. On a technical basis, we closed out last week, as I mentioned earlier, above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. So automatically, the fact that we're trading above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band and the fact that we had a wick, shadow, topping tail, call it cupcakes, whatever you want to call it, on top of this candlestick implies to me that we're going to get a consolidation. Not a crash, but a consolidation. And when you take a look at the daily chart, we closed out the day on this past Friday right at resistance. So do I want to buy at a resistance level? Not really. So short term, I'm cautious, but cautiously optimistic. What was that number two that I said earlier that was a concern about the share price? The election, folks, if you see a Biden presidency, you'll want to be long of ocean power technology. Now, if you see a Trump re-election, that does not mean sell the shares. It just means that you don't have the Green New Deal put underneath the share price as you would with the re-election of President Trump. So to reiterate, were I long at current, I would hold my position. Would I buy the shares longer term? Yes, but the short term is I would wait for a pullback, then initiate a new position at a support level. So in closing, our opinion at the contrarian trader is that the share price on a longer term basis, meaning a monthly basis, the trend is beginning to change from a downward sideways correction and consolidation to now the beginning of an uptrend on a short-term basis. Would I buy the shares? No, not quite yet. I think that short-term, they're a hold where I currently long. But if we do get a pullback to our support level, they then become a buy. What are the catalysts to help drive the share price higher? It won't be short covering. There's very little in terms of short interest. What would put a put under the share price is a Biden presidency. That doesn't mean if there's a Trump re-election that the share price will not move up higher. The shares have been moving up higher for several months now. And if you take note again of when the shares begin to really take off, it was the week of September the 14th when Aspire Capital reached an agreement with Ocean Power Tech to purchase up to 12 and a half million shares. So while we saw a, a nice pop since that point in time, let's face it, folks, the shares have been moving up higher for a considerably longer period than that time frame. There was probably news out in the market that there was talks underway and the news flow out of the company turned positive from negative. So my longer term call on Ocean Power Tech, bullish, no matter who gets into the White House. Folks, if you got any value out of this video, if you could please hit the like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. Subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment below. I'll definitely get back to you. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? And don't forget to join us every Sunday night and Thursday night live. There's a link below in the video description area where you can enter your email address to get alerted 15 minutes prior to us going live. You can also click the notification bell, but that doesn't always work, and you may not get that alert until after we go live. 
So I suggest enter your email address. We hate spam too. If you're already on our email list, do not re-enter your email address because I don't. We send out that alert to everyone on our email list. And don't forget to take advantage of our steep discount with TrendSpider automated technical analysis. My spell check for technical analysis. Use that link below to get 35% off. Everybody have a profitable trading week. Be well.